And that, that, that hit, the fact that it was focused on the spirits of the people and your mindsets, it, it was contagious in a sense because it was not just limited to the Virgin Islands, it was a Caribbean thing and I really enjoyed it. I'm gonna value your review more than New York Times. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So the first question we have is, how did you find your own style of design since they want to find it? it was, so how did I? Find your own style of design. Of storytelling? Yes. Um, great question. I think because earlier I said, being from the Caribbean, we, I never saw our story told like independently. If you look at storytelling in the mainstream, if you're a Caribbean person, we usually have to find, we, they fit us in somewhere. Like if, if it's a narrative, it's a Hollywood flick, if it's a TV series, if it is a way, I remember being a child growing up and I used to be excited when I saw a Caribbean person in the film. But every time we were in the film, it was to make fun of our accent. You were like the, the cool creature. So with this work, my style, um, the style was really created from that sense of feeling that our story was always invisible. So this body of work, it's, it's, it's non-conventional because I think all of you in here, UE's film program, all of us in here are pioneering something, right? Because we're really creating something. So even with you guys giving me this feedback, you guys are helping me to create my style. Navigating Hollywood and navigating distribution that is saying, no, we have an idea of who you people are. But now I'm bringing something totally different and it can be very isolating. It can be very isolating because we live in a society where because of social media, sadly, very few people are original anymore. It's, it's a trend culture, it's trendy. Okay, they're doing this, that's popping on IG, on TikTok, we're gonna do that too. But you're cheating yourself because only you could be you. You can't be anything else. Only you could be you. So the fear of creating art in a global society where we're all in groupthink, it's trying to, how do you stay original to your divine thoughts and your divine art? I loved how the way you structured the interviews. It, everybody was just natural. Yeah. It didn't have any trying to put on a fake accent, trying to sound professional in it. Everybody was just there. I especially loved the um, way you sat around the table with your family and everybody is just there and it's like a normal conversation just with a the camera there and nobody's even acknowledging the camera. You're just enjoying yourself, all talking, right? It was something that I've never really seen in that aspect and those are real high res, all talking, professional lighting and stuff. It was really amazing to see brought to life. Mm. So I mm. really, really enjoy watching that. Thank you for that, because I don't know, I think that is exactly what I'm pursuing with these films. You asked about my style earlier. I sometimes get in trouble, not in trouble, but I want it raw. All I'm trying to do is be a tool and a vessel to showcase who we are. And that's why food is very important to us. And that's what we do. You sit around, you talk with your mother, the elder, and if you notice in the film, she speaks last always, because that's a cultural thing. We respect our elders. So if you notice in the film, the elders spoke last. So all of that is, I'm trying to capture us as authentically as possible. So thank you that you don't notice that. Cool. Um, in the film, it was mentioned a bunch of times, but what is that Jolly Biscuit? A who? Johnny Cake. Oh, yeah. Johnny Cake is what you guys call a bake. We call it a Johnny Cake. Oh. Y'all call it bake. Like bake and fish? Oh. We call it a Johnny Cake. But I think ours tastes a little bit better. No, ours is a little bit fluffy. But you know, you know, you know how Caribbean people are, right? It's the same food, but we gotta say no. We gotta call it something different. So a Johnny cake is in like Virgin Islands, Saint Martin, and Gorilla. We call it Johnny cake. You guys call it a bake. Same, but it's the same thing. I'll taste it, Nancy. But when you taste it. I, we're gonna see who, yeah, fry bake. You guys call it a fry bake. Yeah, oh, fry bake. Fry bake. Okay. Same thing. You, yeah, fry bake. You guys, yeah, same. That's a Johnny cake cool. in Trinidad eventually. Cause this, is, this, is, this is my home too. <laughs> that's good. One of our students wanted to say that they love your mom. You said what? They love your mom. Mommy, you hear that? Everybody <laughs> love. You're stealing the show. <laughs> She's a sweetheart. Yeah, um, a sweetheart. The other question is Do you think we can find a balance between human interaction and social media? What a brilliant question. 
can we find a balance between technology and human interaction? Well, man created the machine, right? So I think the problem today is what I see. The machines are beginning to run us. You go out, no one talks anymore. Everyone is looking down. They don't. So I fear that we're being controlled by algorithms. But in its purest form, if we control and harness technology for what it's for, it's a tool to enhance who we already are. But would I ever like to live in a world where we are no longer connecting? No. And that's why for this film, I'm thinking about doing something bold and only releasing it in theaters instead of going streaming before I go to streaming because I like this. I like, we not, we're not supposed to be in some silo in a room on the internet all day, man. That's not life. Now, technology is important because look, because of it, I'm here, right? If without technology, I could not have shared our story. So you just have to understand the human will is the hierarchy first, and everything else is a tool. Technology is a tool. It should not replace the essence of us. Is there a balance? Can we find a balance if we look at it that way? But my fear is, in the film, I think Sidney Paul said, when she said it, I cringed a little bit, but she was right with the RT Park, because the RT Park is a supporter of this project, and that's the issues we're having in the Virgin Islands. We're trying to innovate, become this tech hub, and people like myself and earthy folks are like, but I like this. But I don't have the answer for that. I don't know, I think our future as a civilization is gonna depend on answering that question, to be honest.